Hey guys, sorry that the color's off again. It's a little better than the whitewash thing, but it's not quite great yet either. Um, anyway, I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. Uh, I know I updated my blog the other day, and it's been a while since I've done a video because I wanted to update it when I did the blog, but I videotaped outside and it was windy and so the video turned out really bad. It was really hard to hear and I was blinking like 20 miles an hour. And so um, I'm going to try and briefly recap. I don't have too long before I have to go to work. But uh, I just want to recap and kind of say my thoughts. Um, I'll put the link to my other blog down there in case you don't know what it is. But um, so you can read it there. Um, but I've just been thinking a lot about change and how God made us to change and how he designed everything to change. The seasons change. You go through periods in your life that even if we don't understand them, that they're good and they're for a purpose. For instance, winter. When we look outside in winter, everything is cold and it's dead and it just doesn't seem like it really serves a purpose. It seems lonely and empty. But then when you really look at it, winter can be so beautiful with the snow and everything else that's going on and so I feel like that in life a lot like there can be periods where you just look around and you're like God I don't understand what's going on in my life right now and I don't understand why this is changing and that is changing I feel like change is huge in my life right now especially opposed to this time last year if you look at my life and then look at it now how many things are different um, and how many things are um, For instance, last year I thought I was going to nursing um, at Clark State and I thought that I, was, I would be moving out soon and I had all these plans and now when I look at them, none of my plans are the same. Um, many of you know that I'm hopefully going to the SOM this fall and I finally decided that if I do go and get in, I'm going to do my internship in India. Um, it just, God has really placed that on my heart lately, and so as long as everything goes smoothly and it goes the way it's supposed to go, uh, this time next year I should hopefully be in India, um, which is huge. It's a big change for me, too. Um, it's been a big enough change switching and being like, oh, I'm not doing nursing anymore. I'm going to do mission work, and then to think that this time next year I could be in India for two years. Um, that's, that's huge and part of me wants to hold on so tightly to the things that I have here the things that I know that are familiar to me but God doesn't work that way there's something something in all of us that when we're prompted with change and things that even though we're scared and we want to hold on to the things that we know and we're familiar with there's something inside all of us I think that is like just, just do it, just change it's exciting, it's new, it's an adventure and that's true, it is, and I'm very excited about it, but I'm also very nervous. Um, I think a lot of it's a leap of faith. And so, yeah, those are just, just some things I've been thinking about lately. Um, this, like I said, this video is not anything that fantastic. Just wanted to update you. And uh, as soon as I get more information on whether or not I've got accepted to the school, I will let you know. Some ways you all can be praying for me this week is... For one, just that everything will go smoothly with getting into this school. I still have to have my physical filled out, and I'm 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 supposed to have an appointment with a health clinic tomorrow. Um, I just just pray that that all goes smoothly, and that um, that they wouldn't change the price that they told me, and that um, yeah, that just that, that would work out well, and that I'd be able to send in the rest, the last bit of my application, and that I would hear back from Orlando quickly. Um, Another way you can be praying for me is I just started going to a house church in the area, and I really love it. Um, it feels like I belong there, and I really love going there so far. I've only been there once, but um, I'm going back. But I'm also still going to my home church at Grace, and so it's, it's a little difficult balancing them both because I'll be going to first service at one, and then ducking out right at the very end and driving over across town to this house church. Um, but I don't really want to leave my family at Grace either. And so uh, I'd just be praying that everything works out okay there and that I don't get run down with having so many like places to run on Sundays. 
and especially the Sundays that I work then right after the church, so I have to go straight to work. Um, and then a third way you can pray for me is just for strength in certain areas. I've been, once again, struggling emotionally. It's just a really hard time of year. Um, it's just a really hard time of year for me, and I'm not going to go too in-depth in that, but just be praying for me that I would be strong and that I'd have peace and that everything would work out okay there. Um, that's really all I have for you guys. So just check out the blog. I think I elaborated maybe a little bit more there. I'm pretty tired and kind of have a cold, so I'm really sorry. But I felt bad not updating this with the blog like I usually do. And so I wanted to get this video up before I forget about it. Um, so yeah, you all have a great day. I love you. Bye.